Today I'm going to be showing you how to PM an, a Moog Infinity uh, infusion pump it's for feeding. Um, this is what the pump looks like. It comes with an AC adapter that is removable. Um, first thing you'd like to do is uh, to check and make sure that the AC adapter and the pump um, are both functioning properly. Um, when you plug it in, you'll see a green light here on the AC adapter. Uh, and you also would like to check the prongs, which uh, seems to be a common problem, is the prongs here on the AC adapter that plug into the uh, pump itself uh, come loose very easily. So it's uh, always good to check uh, to make sure that the prongs uh, fit snugly, firmly. Uh, into the pump. Um, once you know that the battery works, uh, you want to give the, the housing a good look over. Um, as you can see here, uh, you open up this door here, which is where, where the line goes in. Um, on the back of the pump, you'll, you want to check, there's a lot of times there's cracks on the door and also here where they keep the attachment for IV pumps and poles. Um, so when you first turn on the pump, if you hold down the plus but button and the on off button, you'll be able to see it says beep high. When you get these new, it'll say beep low. Um, to change it, you want to push the prime button, and here's the beep high. Uh, and then if you hit uh, the plus button, it'll change it to, or the minus button, sorry, it'll go back to beep low. But you want to have it on beep high. The next you want to keep it on unlocked. And then you want it to say beep when done. The other option is mute when done. But to notify patients using this, it's probably a good idea to keep it on beep when done. And the light on. Uh, you can turn the light off uh, as you see here. But we're going to go with light on. So once you're finished updating your settings, you just want to turn the pump back off and turn it back on. The pump scrolls through serial number, um, information, and then it comes on. And this pump was previously used, so what we're going to do uh, is clear out the data, um, which clear buttons up here in the corner. So just hit clear. And then you also want to clear out your dose. Uh, so it comes up and just hit clear and your volume you want to clear that and then your volume total you want to clear that as well so with programming the pump and running infusions we do two um, infusions one's uh, 120 milliliters at 240 per hour uh, and the other one is 20 milliliters at um, 20 milliliters at or yes 20 milliliters at 40 milliliters per hour. So when programming the pump, you just use the up and down. Click on your rate dose button. The first one is the milliliters per hour. So we're going to take that up to 240. Now we're at our 240. And now we're going to take the milliliters up to 120. Brian, please call Linda at 64250. Brian, 64250. A little too far. And now we have the milliliters at 120. Um, 
And when you run, you're also going to want to run flow tests, which is the flow in, the flow out, and then the um, no food errors. You want to make sure it alarms for each of those. So what you do is you have a bag similar to this. There are larger bags. Um, and this is the part that goes into the actual feeding pump. And as you can see here, you clip the rubber piece around. The rubber piece goes around the motor wheel. And then this snaps into place. And you close your door. It's good to use like a bucket or a, a beaker or um, to uh, run your fluid into. And so what we're going to do is, if, if it's a new bag, you can use the prime button here to prime your bag. This bag's already been primed, so I'm going to go ahead and hit run. Once the pump is running, you take your uh, hemostats and you cl clip off the flow in. And as it's alarming, you can see that it alarms, so we will pause, run, hit run pause, unclamp, hit run again, and we'll clamp out the flow out. And there's the alarm for no flow out. We'll hit run pause again. And you want to flip the bag upside down or you can do whatever variety of method you'd like. And then you just hold the prime button and watch the water line there as it flows out through the pump. The fluid's now out of the line. I don't know if you could see that, but it's out of the line now. And then you just want to hit run again. And there's your no food error. So hit run pause again. And then what we're going to do is prime the pump so it's ready to use. And now the line is primed, and I will grab one of these here so that we can set up our first infusion. And before you start your infusion, you want to be sure to unplug the battery for a battery test. Make sure that the infusion is, the, the pump is able to work and the battery does not die in the time of the infusions. Um, many infusions take longer, so for both infusions, we'll run the pump without the battery. So what we're going to do is go ahead and clear our volume so that it's not registered in with the infusion. So now that we have done that, we will go ahead and hit run pause again. And I'll be back when it's finished. The pump has finished infusing and here we can see that we have pumped exactly 120. It's probably hard to tell on the video, but we have pumped, uh, infused 120 milliliters right on the nose. You have a give or take of 6 milliliters either way 
as low as 114 and as high as 126. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our volume for our next infusion, make sure we clear our volume out, and then we're going to change the rate. So we're going to go to rate dose again, and we're going to turn, turn this down to 40. All right, now we're at 40. And then we're going to hit rate dose again, and we're going to take our milliliters down to 1, or sorry, to 20. All right, now we're at 20, and we're going to place this into a smaller beaker here as you can see and we're going to start the pump and just hit run pause and I will be back when it's finished infusing alright the pump is finished infusing uh, we have exactly 20 milliliters um, on this infusion it's give or take one milliliter so you can be as low as 19 and as high as 21 the last thing you want to do is clear out your total volume and your your volume for the infusion and once you're finished battery test it out just fine uh, other than that you're good to go and you can shut it off and it's ready to send out to the next patient hope you enjoyed thanks